Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's makeup look is this two-toned peachy pink eye with a diffused winged liner and a nice fresh spring inspired makeup look. So the foundation I've got on is the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation and I've applied it with my new 103 Zoeva Defined Buffer Brush. For the eyes, I'm going to apply Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. This is going to neutralise the eyelids and also work as a base for our eyeshadow to prevent it from creasing and shifting. You can apply this with a brush but you might find you apply too much and then you need to set the paint pot. The formula of these products doesn't actually require the product to be set in place. If you are having to set it, then you are probably applying too much. I find the best way to apply it is with your finger as it's warm and it will melt the product into the skin. For eyeshadow, I'm taking the Zoeva Warm Spectrum Palette. The first colour I'm going to be using in this palette is a two-toned peachy pink shade and it's kind of shot through with gold. So when you turn your head, you get that beautiful two-toned iridescent glow. To really make the most of this colour, we're going to put a white base on. I'm using NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. This is going to allow the colour to be a lot more vibrant on our skin and look more like it does in the pan. Like I did with the paint pot, I'm using my finger to blend that in as again the warmth from the finger helps to blend this product. The next Zoeva brush I'm using from the Rose Golden Collection is the 234 Luxe Smoky Shader Brush. If you're a regular on my channel you know I love a flat shader brush, they pick up the pigment really well and it packs the colour onto the eye. As this is quite a delicate eyeshadow colour, you do need to apply it two or three times to really build up that opacity and get that iridescent glow to shine through. It's not to say it's not a really pigmented shadow because it is, but it's quite a light finish on my skin tone, so in order for it to really show up on my skin tone I need to layer the product. With this golden glow that it's got to it, I can imagine this would look really pretty on deeper skin tones. Next I'm taking a small amount of scotch tape and first off I'm going to put it onto the back of my hand and give it a rub. This is going to take off the majority of the stickiness so that we can put it under the eye and we know it's not going to damage our skin. I'm lining up from the corner of my eye and then up towards the tail of my brow and this is going to give us a nice angle. I'm taking this pencil by MAC in the colour Smolder and I'm going to draw on the outer corner of my eye starting on the tape and pulling it inwards towards my upper lash line on the outer corner. Don't worry about being too neat because we are going to be blending it out. The idea is just to get it on first and then we're going to go in with a brush. The one I'm using is by Zoeva, it's the 240 Luxe Petite Pencil Brush. And I'm placing my index finger on the tape to keep my skin nice and tall while I use the brush backwards and forwards over the pencil to start feathering the colour out. So using the brush I'm pulling the colour from the outer corner down onto the mobile eyelid close to the lash line. Using what's left on the bristles, I'm cautiously edging the tail of our liner higher up the tape and this is just going to extend the wing. Now don't worry if your liner goes a funny colour, slightly grey or blue or green, it doesn't matter, it's just going to work as a base for our eyeshadow. Next I'm taking the 317 winged liner brush from the Rose Golden Collection and I'm dipping it into this matte black eyeshadow again from the Warm Spectrum palette and I'm placing that over the top of the black pencil we've put on the eyelid. I'm using the brush at an angle and I'm gently feathering the colour upwards. You want to be really light handed with this, you don't want to take it any higher than the pencil that we've already blended out. The great thing about this brush is it's super thin so it goes exactly where you want it to so you can completely control where you apply the colour. Next I'm going into the lightest of the two matte browns in this palette. I've cleaned my bristles off and I'm going back in with the same brush. Starting just above the end of the wing, I'm pulling the colour downwards and then swooping that into the crease of the eye. Again, use light feather motions to do this. Then I'm going to be going in with the darkest of the two matte brown eyeshadows. And I'm going to retrace my steps, starting at the very top of our wing, coming off of the tape, swooping down into that crease. Then using what's left on the bristles to start pulling that through the crease a little bit further along. Then we want to soften that. I'm going to be using my 228 Luxe Crease Brush, again from the same Rose Golden Collection. And because this brush is slightly tapered, it's got more of a point to it. I can pop the tips of the bristles directly onto the socket line and it will do the blending for me. And then I can go back in with my winged liner brush and reapply the colour. And this is going to start to intensify and sandwich the colours, which means they will last longer. So after each step of reapplying, we're going to go back in with our blending brush and soften those lines and make sure everything's nice and seamless. Do not rush this process, just take your time. As you can see, this took me three goes to build up to the colour I wanted while keeping that blend nice and soft. So this is the last time I'm going in with the winged liner brush and then back in with my Luxe Crease brush. Now we've finished applying colours from that very outer edge, we're going to be able to remove the tape. Be very gentle when removing this as your under eye area is very delicate. And as you can see this reveals our crisp eyeshadow work. 
Going back in with the lightest of the matte brown and my Lux crease brush and working that through the inner half of our socket. This is going to give us a nice fade from the very dark colours on the outer edge to a nice warm brown on the inner corner. I'm going back in with my flat shader brush and reapplying that two toned peachy colour to the mobile eyelid. Again this is just to re-intensify those colours. On my winged liner brush I'm mixing the black and brown colours together and I'm running that underneath the lower lashes. As I get towards the middle of our eye I'm going to dip a little bit more in the brown colours and this will create a slight ombre effect. And then to give that little blend I'm going over that with my Lux crease brush. Going back to my MAC Smolder Coal Pencil I'm running that along the waterline. If you've got particularly small eyes you can run a cream liner in this area, you don't have to use black, you could even use a brown. As I want that nice feline effect I'm going to use black and I'm also going to use that to tight line the eye. On my winged liner brush I'm going back in with that two tone peachy colour and I'm running that underneath the tear duct of the eye. And using a light hand I'm feathering that colour back towards the brown shade. On a pencil brush I'm taking this white shimmer with a hint of the peach tone and I'm applying that to the inner corners of the eyes. This is going to give us that nice subtle highlight. I decided to go back in with a detailer brush and a bit of the matte brown and work that through the crease because I just wanted to darken this area and it gives us more of a subtle cut crease effect. Again if you've got smaller eyes you might want to avoid this part because it will make your eyes look smaller but if you've got big enough lids to carry it off it's very effective. And as usual, go in with a clean blending brush to soften everything. So I finally managed to get my hands on the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. Thank you to Shannon who kindly found it for me in the UK. And then loads more of you told me it was sold in Harrods. So that's where I got it from in case any of you in the UK are looking for it. It is so much like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara except it doesn't end up under your eyes by the end of the day. Next I'm applying these Backstage Lashes in Soho. They're very similar to the MAC 35 lashes and the other set I've been wearing which are called Aubrey by Demure Lashes except these are a little bit longer. The trick to applying lashes with your fingers is to give them a little wiggle at the root and then they will sit perfectly on the root of your lash but also attached to the skin so they're not going to come off and you can't see where they start and finish. I'm going to apply some mascara to the base and the mid lengths of the lashes. I'm not going all the way to the tip, but applying it to this area makes them fuller as they bend. To brighten underneath the eyes I'm applying a small amount of my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and to buff that in I'm using my 124 Concealer Buffer Brush again from the new Zoeva Rose Golden Collection Volume 3. When you are swiping this under the eyes make sure you don't disturb that nice crisp line that we've done with the eyeshadow. To set that in place I'm using my Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer Powder and I'm just using my same brush dipped in the powder and working that over the area that we've applied the concealer. To warm up the skin I'm using my Chanel Soleil Tan Bronze Universelle and I'm going back in with my 103 Defined Buffer Brush to apply this. I'm starting at the hairline, working that in circular motions, blending that in. Remember this isn't a contour colour, it's actually a bronzer so we're going to apply it in the areas that we would mostly get the sun, so tops of the cheekbones and around the hairline and a little bit on the nose. I am going to add a small amount of contour just down the sides of my nose and I'm using the MAC Pro Sculpt Cream in Coffee Walnut and the perfect brush to do this is the 109 Face Paint Vegan Brush. You can use this brush with both powder or cream products and it's slim enough to contour the sides of your nose as well as the hollows of your cheeks. For blush I'm using the Zoeva Coral Spectrum Palette and I'm using the one on the bottom left which is very similar to the colour we've got on our eyes. I use this brush all the time from Zoeva but now I've got it in the rose golden shade so you'll see this one a lot more. This is the 114 Lux Face Focus Brush. I'm applying that colour to the apples of the cheeks and pulling it backwards. I always find whenever you apply this kind of colour to the apples of your cheeks it looks really fresh and very spring like. Next I'm going in with the Zoeva Rose Golden Blush Palette. This is part of the new collection and I'm going to be using the colour Heavy Crown which is a matte brown and it's the perfect contour colour. To apply it I'm using my 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush also by Zoeva and I'm placing that into the hollows of the cheeks and then I'm going back in with my buffer brush just to define it and sharpen it up. The highlight called Glowing Steel in this palette is absolutely beautiful, it's like an iridescent white gold colour and to apply it I'm using the 129 Luxe Fan Brush. This is the perfect brush to feather the highlight on the tops of the cheekbones. I'm also going to apply a small amount of that above the brow bone and again I'm going to use the brush to apply it and then go back in with my buffer brush to soften it. This highlight colour, the blush and the eyeshadow all work so well together and again it really reminds me of spring. So I've applied a small amount down the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow. 
Now you could even go in with a lipstick, something like Flamingo or Sweet and Sour by MAC or even Coral Bliss would work. But I've chosen this lip gloss by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's very very similar again to the eyeshadow, it's got a two tone effect to it. It's slightly peachy pink shot through with a iridescent gold. I like to work the lip gloss in with my finger as it blends in better. Hey everyone, so I hope you guys all enjoyed the tutorial. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do, I just wanted to use the new Zoeva Rose Golden Volume 3 Collection brushes and palette. I also wanted to use the new Zoeva palettes because I still haven't really got around to using them properly. I've shown you bits and bobs in a couple of tutorials but I wanted to do something full on Zoeva. I wanted to do something quite strong in the eye with a wing a bit blown out as opposed to quite defined. So although we've got a nice defined line, I didn't want to use liquid liner or gel liner. I wanted to use a pencil and some eyeshadow just to give it more of a diffused look. I know Anastasia Beverly Hills don't do these anymore but they are absolutely beautiful and the name's worn off this one. I think this one was Bellini. It was one of my favourites when Anastasia Beverly Hills was first about. If I can find a dupe for it I will let you know or if any of you guys think that you might know of something that's similar to this then put it in the comment section below and I can update the description bar. Lots of you have been asking me if I'm going to IMATS this year. I am supposed to be demoing at IMATS but nothing's set in stone yet so if I'm not demoing I will probably be shopping so if you're there say hello. If you guys have got any questions leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back to you. I'm trying to at least answer everybody's questions within the first sort of 24 to 48 hours. After that it gets really difficult because I get so many comments now because I'm about to hit 300,000 subscribers and it makes it really difficult for me to get back to you. Thank you all so much for subscribing and sharing my videos and recommending my channel to people. So again, thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so and if you've missed my previous tutorials you can click on these now. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and they're all at Show Me Makeup. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!